Hey guys, welcome to the Lunchtime Review. Today I'm going to try one of these Big Shoulder Smokehouse. This was the fully cooked hickory smoked boneless pork loin chops. Um, simply seasoned brown sugar brine. Heat and serve in minutes. This is um, in the refrigerated section where they, they sell like the barbecue meats and uh, pulled pork and the stuff like that. That's all in the same area. This is a 32 ounce or two pound package. There are seven pork chops though in this package. So this is not something you would want to take the whole thing to work with you. What you'd want to do, well let's look at the directions and you'll see. So we bought these at Meyer. They were $11.99 but like I said there's seven of them in here. So the serving size is three ounces or 84 grams. So how many ounces was this whole thing? 32. So that's like a, a tenth of the package. So that is a, for a little bit less than one pork chop probably. You'd have to weigh them to be sure. But anyway three ounces 130 calories here's your other information so heating directions you could do this on the stove top if you want to you can just spray it um, a cooking spray on a pan and basically cook it in the pan you can grill it on the grill which would be probably really good or you can do microwave that's why I got it so it basically says place two to three chops on a microwave safe plate cover and heat for two minutes or until heated throughout let stand for two to three minutes before serving cook times may vary depending on the microwave refrigerate it may be frozen um, and refrigerate any leftovers um, once open use within five days so don't let it sit around pretty straightforward as far as the ingredients goes pork water brown sugar vinegar seasoning rub which includes just some garlic and salt and pepper um, natural flavors so and these are made in illinois pretty cool farmington um, so my thinking is if you want to take these to work you can cut the package up and put them in a uh, some kind of microwavable bowl or container of some kind and just take you a couple of them and um, take them to work and heat them up so that would give you one two they give you three meals for uh, 12 bucks I don't think that's too bad so I'm gonna cut these and I've got a plate over here I wonder how much juice is gonna be in here I'm gonna get two out because that sounds like a good amount to eat. So there's how big they are. Put that on a plate. Put that on a plate. And this way, pull it around. So that's what I'm going to heat up. I'm going to lay, put a paper towel over them, put it in the microwave for probably two, two and a half minutes, and I'll be back. Okay, right, so here they are out of the microwave. And let me see if I can work around the camera and cut this uh, in half. They're pretty thick, honestly. So there's what they look like inside. And uh, yeah, so they, and I put them in for two and a half minutes and they feel like they're pretty, they're pretty hot. They're not like super, super hot, but they're pretty hot. So I'm going to take these over to the table and uh, we'll try them out. Okay, I gave it just a minute to cool off. It smells, if you ever had a canned ham, like ham, did they buy a can and you bake it? That's what it smells like. Um, the texture was a little different than that because that's like a processed uh, ham. This is like literally a pork loin slice so that the texture is different but the smell is very similar mm. I really like the flavor yeah, super super tender the flavor is really good the the coating on the outside you get that little ring around the edges um, it has like a brown sugar uh, flavor to it like a brown sugar ham It definitely doesn't taste like a canned ham. And the, the texture is a lot denser than a canned ham. A canned ham, like I said, is processed. This one you can tell is just a slice. Um, the flavors are good. I'm glad I stopped at two and a half minutes. If I'd went over two, it's probably warm enough. Um, if I'd went over though, I think in the microwave, it would have really dried out the edges and to where it would almost be to where you couldn't eat them. The way it is right now, it's, it's good, but I could tell where that edge, like I tried just now, was getting a little dry. Yeah, it's just on the, on like the outside edges. It's a little dry. It's not bad, but if I went to any longer than two and a half, and again, it said two. If I'd went two minutes, it would have been um, not very hot. Uh, two and a half is just like right at the edge of where I'd go. So maybe if I did it next time, I may go 215. We'll just keep it a little more tender. It is really good. You can add some barbecue sauce to this or ketchup or mustard or whatever you wanted to. They're a little thick for a sandwich. I guess you could. Um, if you really wanted to, they're thick enough to where you could slice them down the center and uh, make a sandwich out of them if you want to. Um, that would also be good. 
to put cheese on them if you really wanted to. I mean, just do whatever you want to with them. But I think the flavors as they are are pretty good. They're not super strong. That's my only problem is the flavors. It does have that sweet, like brown sugary kind of flavor on the outside. But beyond that, the spices itself aren't aren't very, it's not very savory. It's just, you get a, a pork flavor with like a sweet, like brown sugar, honey kind of flavor. Um, not that it had honey in there, but that's what it kind of reminds me of is like a honey ham. I think they're good. Um, I think the quality is good. I'm gonna give them a four out of five because I do like the quality and stuff. I would probably give it more of a five if it had more seasoning on it. Like if they, they slice it, after they slice it, if they sprinkled some seasoning on there to really um, give it more savoriness um, and spices, I would have liked it better. As it is, I will probably add some seasonings, probably nature seasoning or something like that to it on my own, um, just to bump up the flavor a bit. So, but I still think it's a solid four. Like I said, you get at least three meals out of it if you eat two at a time for 12 bucks. I don't think that's bad at all. Four dollars per meal. I bought frozen deal, dinners that tasted awful uh, for four dollars. So I think that's a pretty good deal. So, uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.